Howdy folks, it's uh, New Tool Monday and I've got something that was sent in here by Teshman and it's a multimeter but it has artificial intelligence I guess we'll say. It's a smart digital multimeter. What's a smart digital multimeter? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> this ought to be good. <laughs> Well, we got her out of the box and smart meter she is. Uh, I just pulled it out this morning, take a quick look at it. Uh, Tessman was nice enough to uh, send a couple of these over to us so we could have a look and play around with them. They're a smart, smart meter. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice, it's not very big. It has a really nice big digital lay, uh, readout here, but it also has a flashlight in the back and only a couple small AAA batteries to run it. And it comes with a nice set of uh, probes. But there's no real, you know, pile of buttons or selectors or something on the front of it. And the reason is, is you can take a sample of the electricity or resistance or continuity, whatever you're looking for, and Smarty here will figure out what you're doing and tell you what you've got going on. So it was like, wow, that's pretty neat. And uh, so first thing we'll do, of course, is power it up. It goes beep. And just a basic continuity test. You'll hear this. Uh, I hope you'll hear this. But... Yeah, so for continuity, automatically it tests. But I thought we'll go to the uh, next element here. And here's a battery. This battery's just about dead, but that's a Ryobi battery, of course. And we'll just throw the probes across. And it shows 6.6 .6 volts right now, which is not surprising. Uh, I have a lot of trouble with Ryobi lately. They've been really going downhill on me pretty fast. But it shows that it's DC and it shows the polarity is correct and everything. If I reverse polarity, let's see how smart meter the, yep, and it shows that I've got the wrong polarity, so that's pretty neat. It shows that my red probe, my black probe are actually on the wrong side of the battery. And like I said, this thing is smart. It figures out what you're gonna measure and what you're doing, so, and it gives you a reading. So the next thing we do is we need to check AC. Okay, so this little this little multimeter has quite a few different functions. We're gonna remove the test leads, okay? <laughs> yeah. And, oh, better power it up. And I'm gonna put this on, let's see if we can get it. I don't know if that's, nope. Let's see if we have this, there we go. Now it's gonna look for uh, AC. Look at that, huh? <laughs> that's, I've got an extension cord right here. Let's see if it, yep, picks up the cord. Uh, it can do the probing thing where, you know, you just get near AC and it'll pick it up and tell you that it has AC without using, well, you don't use the probes. If you do leave the probes attached, apparently it'll throw it off. Also has a little hold button. So if you take a reading of something and you want to hold on to that reading, you know, you can store it for a bit until you're finished, well, whatever you're doing for holding a reading. But uh, that's the first feature that I guess we need to talk about, and that is, that is really cool. As a multimeter, it also has that detector uh, function. So that's a good thing. Let's shut that off now. And uh, once we push the button, it'll go back to auto. And once it's back on auto, it'll, you know, then you can take sampling. It takes uh, samples and looks at them and decides what it is you're looking at. Now I'm going to just plug this in and see if we can smoke the place up today. Yeah, I hate sticking probes in these things. Okay, I've got 122 point, oops, all right. Okay, 100, 122.6, I think that's what I got on there right now. Uh, yeah, about 122.6 volts AC. <clears throat> and there's a little uh, readout at the top here that shows AC, DC, ohms, and uh, also shows something with a speaker. And I guess that's the beep to show you when you're doing the, the let's do the continuity test, see if that's where that shows up at. Yeah, it does. So when I'm doing continuity, it swings over to the speaker here and there's also a little green light. So <clears throat> you can tell that you are, you're doing a continuity test to see if something is you know, flowing through. It also does, of course, uh, ohms. That would be, I've got to find a reason. Let's go find a resistor. Okay, I dug around my electronics junk and I, I found an old, yeah, an old transistor here. Um, that's a long time ago. That was right after tubes. <laughs> and I guess we better turn this on so we can see it. There we go. And this will be uh, just like a polarity thing going through. So when we go across the terminals with this meter, uh, let's see if the meter can figure out what it is we're trying to do here. 
I'm going to get about, I should get, yeah, should get about five or six ohms. Now, if I reverse that, I should get a high resistance reading that's in the thousand ohm range, I believe, if this transistor is any good still. I think it is. Yep, it's got a little M beside it. So it's measuring about a, you know, about a thousand ohms, uh, one M. Okay, wow, pretty cool. Let's do a capacitor just for the fun of it. Capacitor is a little different. When you run across a capacitor, uh, it takes the charge in, so it fools the meter into a resistance that's either up, going up or dropping, depending on the situation with the microfarads and whatever. But uh, Okay, we'll put it across there, and you can see it's slowly breaking its way down through the capacitor, because what it's doing is taking a charge. As the capacitor totally fills up, it will become actually, well, it'll actually show like an open circuit sort of thing, but kind of cool. Yeah. So that's resistance of uh, 600 volts. Uh, AC is the maximum that it can measure. Uh, the other good thing with something like this is uh, I guess if the neighbor decides to borrow it, you could give it to him. Theoretically, he can't blow this thing up or you know screw up the polarity or anything on it because it uh, decides for itself what's going on. So yeah, that's a smart, that's a pretty smart meter. <laughs> Uh, same with the DC. I assume that DC would be about 600 volt DC, although I don't know where you guys would get into measuring 600 volts DC. I guess it could happen. Well, even 600 AC, not around a house, maybe an industrial area, but where you're running like 600, you know, three phase, something like that. Uh, and I'd be surprised to see how it takes that sample. It'd be interesting to see that. I don't have 600 volts laying around here, so I can't do it. But uh, what an interesting meter. Really, uh, takes all those samples and just reads it, whether it be resistance or voltage, DC, voltage, AC, plus the detector, the flash, the flashlight. Okay, I'll hold on here to the button and see if we can get the flashlight on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that can be a handy thing too, because a lot of times when you're doing power, you're, you have a light problem. Yeah, so, and hold the button again and see if we can shut that off. And also, if you shut, just hit the button really quickly, it lights this area up. So again, if it's dark or something, you know, you can see what it is you're doing. Cool little meter. I'm going to have a nice link in the description below for this, where you can find this guy. We're not uh, paid or sponsored or anything. No affiliate or programming like that going on. So, you know, and also, I uh, believe they're going to give me a discount code. I hope they are, if you're interested in a meter like this. And like I say, it'd be great for when the neighbor wants to borrow a meter. And, you know, you can hand him this one and <laughs> you can't really hurt it, I don't think. <laughs> I hope you can't, but uh, it comes with a nice little uh, pack package here too with uh, the Tessman uh, name on it, brand name. So that's cool. And you can probably wind the cord up, leave it plugged in like I always do, and uh, stuff the whole thing in the uh, little case. Yep, like that. And uh, close her up, zip her up, and. Uh, yeah, you've got a nice little carrying case with the meter, and it's it's like I say, it's small, portable. Man, it's portable, but uh, it's a actually a pretty strong little smart digital uh, meter. So, got to give old Tessman a thumbs up on that one. That's a great idea, and it'll help keep a lot of people out of trouble because uh, the old meters, a lot of times, the fuse would blow or something if you were you know the wrong setting or something. This one doesn't allow for that. It it pretty much decides it's going to take a sample and figure out what it is you're doing. So that is cool. Plus your continuity test. Man, oh man. Huh. What a cool little item to be sent in here by Tessman. I got to thank those people for sending that again, for sending this in because uh, when they mentioned uh, the fact that this was a meter that could just, you know, didn't have to select or any uh, mode or anything, you just simply take uh, probes and measure what you want. I thought, really? Uh, yeah, I got to see this, you know, <laughs> yeah. And it does, seems to do exactly what it's supposed to do. In fact, I'm kind of impressed for a small meter and for the, the idea that it's a smart meter. Uh, wow. So now for the conclusion, uh, who is this meter for? Uh, anyone that uh, is not real good with electricity or not familiar with all the different things on electricity, but still needs the function of a multimeter and they don't know how to use, you know, with selectors and things, it gets kind of confusing for a lot of folks that are not real good on electric. So something like this can give them the task of a full multimeter without having all the problems of selecting something to figure out what scale they need to be on when they're measuring something. 
this will do it for you. So I'd say that's a that's a that's a darn winner, you know. A lot of do-it-yourselfers. I know myself. A lot of people will tell me how uh, scared they are about electricity, or they don't like to deal with it, and they hate dealing with a meter because they're always scared they're going to blow the meter up or something. So. This can prevent all of those problems. Yeah, so that's a that's an excellent item. And they sent me two. So Thursday, <laughs> we'll probably be setting that up for a draw next week or something. Meantime, we do have a draw this Thursday. And if you uh, want to get in on that draw, you need to hustle back over to that episode uh, previous. So you can put your name in or your ticket in for the uh, draw. And uh, we'll be having a draw this Thursday for, uh, it's actually a voltage detector. You know, not like this, but you know, a similar tool that has you know, some pretty interesting features. The uh, other thing I need to do, I guess, is thank everyone for watching and tuning in to Coffee and Tools every week. You know, we are, uh, you know, really happy with the sort of turnouts that we see and the feedbacks and whatever. And I've got to get this, uh, boxed up I guess and we're gonna do something with all this. Oh I gotta put my little transistors away too. I, I had to drag that all out of the old electronics drawers. Uh, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools and please like, share, subscribe and ring the notice bell so you can get it on uh, draws for free stuff. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, meantime I guess uh, that's it. Man, we are out of here. Over and out. <laughs>